This is Jordan Tarrant with JT News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We just got a news wrap up for for now, and then I'll probably drop one more video before the night's over. I'm taking it a little easy today since the news is slow. Um, anyways, let's get right into the news that's going on right now. So uh, we had uh, G Herbo reacted to uh, to gosh, he, he replayed his. Uh, interview with the breakfast club i'm sorry i, I put i forgot i put in too many pictures here he uh reacted to takashi's breakfast club and said oh man you know right when he said i only fear the feds he said he went and snitched it right that they were like oh he's scared of us oh let's go get him right now he's the weak link and it's funny listen to it right here <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man! He told y'all the fans to shake his <laughs> up on the They went and saw this and attacked this. <laughs> Mayday, we got us one. He said he's got out. He put a helmet in his whole set, whole everything over. Oh, oh, oh fans, watch this, bro! And they attacked this. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was funny from G Herbo. I don't know, man. Just, <laughs> it's just funny to see how things shook out. We knew something was going to shake out a little funny over here, and that's what happened. Then we got, um, so Kanye is supposed to drop his album now on Sunday. They got to do some mixes. You know, Nikki's got to relay over. I don't know. There's a million excuses floating around. I see somebody saying that he was going to drop Yandi this weekend, but they got the dates mixed up. He dropped that last year. Yandi was supposed to drop last year. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, and it never dropped. So now we're here again. And honestly, let's be honest. Kanye didn't drop on Friday because the baby dropped. And the baby's hot hot right now. He's been dropping videos. I know, I'm, I know you guys are going to say, but Kanye's Kanye. Yeah, but he wants to have Kanye is selfish. He wants to have the day to himself. No competition. He wants to be the only thing happening. So that's why he's going to drop on Sunday a few days later. Once the baby kind of cools off for a few days, you know, he's doing these shows. He's being strategic about it. I don't really like it, but the best thing would have been is to embrace the baby, put him on your project and both drop that day and you guys cross promote. But hey, you know, people don't look at things like that. And, you know, I don't think he anticipated an artist as dropping a sophomore project as hot as the baby is right now on the same day as him. You know, it wasn't planned or anything. Uh, then we got Tax Stone and Troy Ave. So Troy Ave is, and Nori are getting a lot of flack because of his interview with Nori. He's basically, now I haven't watched the whole interview. From what I'm hearing, Tax Stone said, I mean, Troy Ave said he would take the stand against Tax Stone. I can't officially say that. But... I think his excuse was, you know, he took out my man. He was trying to take me out, blah, blah, blah. My son always appears when tax, when Troy Ave comes up, okay? Always. So my son pops up. My son made some good points about, but here's the thing. I think my son needs to choose whether he's going to help out young kings, like he says, or he's going to preach street stuff. And they go hand in hand, but still, you got to denounce one thing in a way understand it but also help people get away from that life because you know it's it is a trick it's a trap I've seen a lot of people get into it and they end up messing their whole lives up i mean we're seeing it happen with a lot of people you know and you can totally mess your life up and you're you're loyal to something and i understand because i've seen it enough and i've known enough people that get into it you, you it's a young you know uh it's just, it's easy to get into bad situations in poverty, you know, like period. I don't care if you're white, but I mean, it's more so in, in the ghettos that it happens, but it happens in, in white trash uh, trailer parks. It just happens differently, you know, but uh, you can get involved in some bad stuff, not thinking because your mind, your mind's not fully developed when you're young. You, you don't know the consequences. You don't, you haven't lived enough life until you're like 25 to 30, somewhere in there where you can kind of like make better decisions, you know? 30, you really make, if you've lived, 
you make good decisions. So this is what my son said, reacting to Troy Ave. And then we'll end it there. Let me know what you guys think. Troy, I mean, my son made some good points. My son made some very good points. And I'm not, you know, going against him. I'm just saying, you know, it's just, it is what it is. So that, that's my, that's what integrity is for me. It's not about criminality. It's about your own being your home. When you decide that you're going to tell on somebody else and you're involved in the same street life that they are, you de decide that you're going to go and say whatever, then you've compromised your morals. You can't be trusted in no capacity. You know what I'm saying? Even when you change your life over and you switch over and decide, you know what, I don't want to be in the streets no more. I know that I can't trust you to hold me down as a man because you don't have integrity in anything to anything you can do to save yourself even if it sacrifice me is what you're going to do and that's how most of these people are so they don't have any integrity so they're angry at people that actually have integrity so that's what, what we're dealing with now and now that lifestyle is being is being pushed you know what i'm saying that lifestyle is being pushed it's being all the way pushed everybody is saying yeah Look what you, they did to him. No, it's about, okay, you in the streets. When you in the streets, right, it's lions and bears in the streets. So you go out in the jungle and you play with the lions and bears, you got to be a lion and bear. Nigga can't take nothing from you or do nothing to you if you're a lion. And if you're not a lion, you're not supposed to be in the jungle. See what I'm saying? Niggas is robbing you because you're not a lion. You don't belong in the jungle. So what happens is when you realize you don't belong in the jungle, just get out. Don't go... That I, I want some. I'm gonna tell on the lines. I'm, you know, I'm a, cause I'm not, I'm not built to deal with them on my own. You know, what I'm gonna do is go tell the police. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is corny. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how these niggas deal now. That's the new, that's the new era of what they do. You know, I just finished watching the Drink Champs episode. You know, shout out to Nori. That's my brother. You know. And I love Nori. And I reached out to him before I even seen the episode. And I said, Nori, we can't give niggas like that platforms. But I, I, I have to respect him. That's what he does. He's a journalist. He's a journalist. He got to get both sides of the story. My personal view, I'm seeing it just from, you know, from a moral standpoint. But then uh, at the end of the day, that's his job. So he did what he was supposed to do. He gave the man an opportunity to speak. And he said what he said. And he basically said, I'm going to tell, you know, and that's it. Like you can't, we, we can't, don't try to make it into a reason why you, you're telling. You told, you're going to tell, you're going to get on the stand and point at a man and say, yes, he did that. Yes, he did it. A man that you had beef with, you initiated a confrontation with a man. However, it turned out, you admit these things, you initiated, a con you, whatever, whatever, this is what you saying. And you did all these things allegedly and now you decide that you're going to tell you know and if and if, if you you saying because he telling on you now if he goes to your trial because they're too uh, this this is be realistic about this i want you to understand what's going on these people have two different trials they got their own cases one is being charged with murder one is being in charge of attempted murder, reckless endangerment, and all this shit. They have two different trials. They're not co-defendants. So I want you to understand because there are myths here. There are myths here. They have two separate cases. It all happened on the same night, but they're not co-defendants. So what happens is one of them is going to the one trial, other person is going to the other trial. Nobody has to testify against the other one. If the dude tax, who I only met one time in my life, I don't have no relationship with tax. I can't tell you nothing about him. All I know is that he ain't talking about this case. You know, God bless the dead. My bro my man's brother, Banger, lost his life. He ain't talking about it. I respect for that. You know, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I don't, I'm not speculating. But what I do know is that Troy Ave is going to stand on the, tr sit on the stand and point the finger and say that this man did that. That is called rapping. There's no explanation. He's saying that somebody implicated him in a crime. That is a lie. Do you know what implicating in a crime is? Listen to me. When your when your lawyer, this is all the case of the night. The 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 the, the, the um 
the state or the feds, who have whatever case they have, have evidence. They arrested Troy Ave, and based on what the arrest for Troy Ave said, the, the lawyer wrote an application for bail for his client based on that, what they wrote. There's no implication. He ain't saying my, he's saying based on what you have on the case, you said that you found this man with the gun. You said that you found this man with the gun. My client wasn't in possession of the gun, Your Honor. The, the other man was in possession of the gun, so you can't tell us his hours. You, the state says that they found this man with the gun. That is not implicating you in a crime. That is utilizing state records to fight for your client to get out of jail. You're not, you're not saying that he owned the gun, he shot the gun. You're saying that according to your own records, you found the man with the gun, Your Honor. The state found him with this gun. It can't be my, my my client's gun because they they found the gun on somebody else's possession. That is not ratting. That is not snitching. It's not implicating you in the crime. It's your lawyer filing for a petition. I just need you to understand because what happens is when somebody tells you something you don't know and you just listen to them talk, you start saying, "Oh, word, that's what he didn't know." His lawyer found a petition for bail. Once again, I do not know Tax Stone. I met the man one time. We said two words to each other. I have no allegiance to him. I don't have anything to do with him. But I know what a snitch is. And I know what a snitch is not. When your lawyer puts in an application, they, they base it on the foundings of the courts and the criminal history. They say, okay, boom. This person right here was found to see the crime. You saying he got this. You saying he got this. You know, all right, this person has these crimes that you, the, the state is saying, but you ain't giving me a bail, but you giving him a bail. That's not implementing you in a crime. That is taking public knowledge and writing a petition for bail for your client. That is not ratting. It is not snitching. You, he said he's, they found his fingerprints. He said, all right, I'm a cop out to that. Boom, they found the fingerprints on the thing. Right, I'm a cop out to that. That's my shit. This, these people will try to lie to you and spin shit. The kid Troy Ave is a spin master. I don't wish jail or death on nobody. But we got to stop lying. You got to stop lying. You want to testify. You don't want to go to jail. You, you want to testify in exchange for some lighter sentence for what you did. Cool. Everything, only thing on tape is you, allegedly is you, if that's in you in the video, running through shooting that's the only thing that's on the videotape nothing else is visualized whatever happened in that back room is not on anybody's videotape do not allow these people to keep lying to you it's important to me because i'm tired what happens is we amplify we promote a lifestyle that is detrimental to our children that is detrimental to our society. We promote this lifestyle. We promote these people promoting this lifestyle. And then after they get the benefits of promoting and destroying our fucking communities and destroying our kids and lying to our kids, when the actual time to be this quote unquote real nigga that they say they are, they don't be there. And then they try to switch, move the post of what a real nigga is. He's trying to move the post. Oh, no, no, a real nigga, no. A real nigga ain't supposed to fight with his hand behind. No, it's not that you fight behind your back. You got into a street beef with another street nigga and you handled it and it didn't work out you the way you wanted to. And then you had to deal with the consequences and now you don't want to deal with those consequences. So now the streets are a myth. 